So I turned around and went back and that was the sale. Can you believe it? All right, Bolo Buddies, this is the Crafter's Estate haul you have been waiting for. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, let's get started. Um, I did list some of the items that weren't really crafters items. Those are listed. So I'm gonna pop up screenshots of how I listed those items. I am also going to show you what has sold so far, just to keep this educational like my normal videos, but everything else you see is coming to whatnot. So let's get started. All right, Bolo Buddies. I went to a garage sale and it was an estate garage sale and they were getting rid of pretty much all of the crafting items and I did get a few things like that were not crafting we're going to kind of look at some of this stuff but it's just these totes are just jam-packed I'm not even sure what I have so I was outside in the garage and I was making a pile and they're like oh you got to come to the basement and I went to the basement and I just started feel, filling up totes. So in here, um, this has like these, I think they're poly something, uh, some type of foam that you make these little faces and molds with. I think she may have made this, but you can see she used a little face on there, but how cool is that? This is packed with forms and different um, things that she's already made that are ready to paint. I got some Ziploc bags. Score! Um, there is jewelry that's already made in here. Um, this is little uh, jewelry making. I don't know if they're, are they bronze or I don't know what they are. They're kind of bronze in color. So this is just something she had ordered like, I don't know, from Etsy or something and it's just full of stuff or some books. But just tons and tons of jewelry making items oh that's cute little like turtle bracelet that's already made that's an empty box so um i did grab these because as a reseller we all know that we can use huge ziploc bags these things are pricey um so again i really am not even too sure some of it's like new old stock there's uh, some stickers and crafting stuff like that as well. These are some sort of, she looks like she bought those on eBay. Glassware beads. I mean, just, and I know I've got wire. I don't know what that is. I did see this, I picked it up. I have no clue if it's like some sort of instrument. Like something like this, I'll probably put on eBay, but I think the crafting items I am gonna put on, um, I think I'm gonna bring them to Whatnot. Haven't decided how I'm gonna do it. If I'm just gonna put this tote beside me and we'll just kind of dig through it together. This looks like some uh, brooches, costume jewelry. I don't know if she was gonna repurpose them or those look like stones. Uh oh. I don't know what those are. I really don't know too much about this type of stuff. Looks like some more um, jewelry and a watch. Some little earrings. This is cool. That's cold. Look at that. So yeah, I haven't really gone through any of it. Um, I was thinking it would just kind of be like a mystery whatnot sale and we'll just kind of go through it together. Um, that's kind of what I'm thinking. This here, these look more like kids beads. Um, they don't look like they're anything fancy, just plastic beads, but you know, some, some people still craft with those. Let's see what's down here. Sounds like more beads. I can move some of this stuff and we can keep looking. I may keep some of these tools. I don't know. I might be able to just use those when I'm like, okay, here's another. Look at 
that. <laughs> Jordash. That's probably vintage for sure. Um, looks like, you know, just some express costume jewelry Lane Bryant. But has the original tags on it. Some buttons. Oh, those are pretty. Is that Cloisonne? I don't know. I'm so bad with jewelry. So yeah, we can look through that. Put that back in there. Let's go over to another tote here. So if you are a crafter, <laughs> I'm going to sell other stuff over on Whatnot also, but I'm thinking this will be a good get my feet wet type thing. Um, so I have a link down below. You can follow me on Whatnot. If you're already on Whatnot, that'll just take you over there. But if you're new and have not joined, you can get a credit to shop. So uh, definitely use that link down below. It's a referral link, so I get credit and then you get that credit too. Look at this. Oh, look, I love this. It's a little whale. So yeah, maybe I'll do some of it as one-offs, uh, but I'm guessing most of it I'm probably gonna do by um, small lots. So these are all beads. They do say um, big lots or odd lots. I think that's an odd lots tag, but um, I think they are probably vintage 1997. Yeah. So discontinued, but all new old stock here. What's in here? There's just boxes within boxes. I don't know. Some of it's just going to be crafter stuff. It's got a charm on the top. I think that's probably what's inside of it. Ooh, that's cute. So who knows what's going to be in here. Ooh. I don't know. We'll have to just wait and see. But I just wanted to give you guys a quick glimpse. Oh, look at those. Are those like little turtles for craft? Those are interesting. Huh. I mean, everything. I just want to know what everything is. I'm guessing a lot of this is. Yeah, those are beads, but they're really pretty. Uh, more of these cool buttons. A lot of this stuff. Uh, hem tape. Lace. Let's see under here. Those look like, I don't know. I literally was just throwing stuff in bags. There's like a parrot necklace. So maybe she was gonna craft with hemp cord. Some watches. So what do you guys think? How did I do? <gasps> oh my gosh. It's just so much stuff. Oh, here's another one of those things. I think she made this. Um, and it opens up and uh, I'm guessing you wear it like as a necklace. It's kind of creepy, right? Good for Halloween. I'm gonna sit that over there so it doesn't get broken. I think these are buttons. We got some vintage CoverGirl goodie brand hair things. In the mountain, God, I don't know what that is, something New Mexico. Ugh. Dark blue, so beads. more beads. Let's see if we can get under here. Oh my gosh. Just so much stuff. Look at this. Betsy Clark, guys. Remember I did a video on Betsy Clark? So there's some cards in there. 
some Pez dispensers can do good. This one has no feet. That's a good sign. So look that guy up. A little like, looks like here's some jewelry. I mean, I haven't even looked in those two. More buttons. What's this? Designer crystal buttons. So obviously I'm not gonna have time to part all of this stuff out on eBay. I just I I, I just can't. <laughs> as much as I would love to, like I just can't. I have so much stuff. So um I think whatnot is like the perfect uh solution for all this. Somebody uh can hopefully get a good deal. Uh this stuff, I don't know what this is. Uh Fabulous fibers, but there's some of that here. This is just a, probably throw that away. It had a brooch on it that I pulled off. Here's some more like embellishments and stones. I don't know what's in there. I did pick up these. I'll probably put these on eBay. They're like a replacement filler paper. And there's quite a few of them, so I can probably do just like a multi-quantity listing. And I don't think anybody's really going to want that. It's going to take the right person that has that thing. There's a sketch pad. Here's another thing that I think she probably made or was in the process of making. It looks like a paper towel is the body, huh? Isn't that interesting? Um, look at this one. So, yeah, I think she molded these out of a mold and then she painted them. I don't know what all is in here, so definitely uh, gonna have to. I did pick up these just because I know some light bulbs can be pricey, and I know that we use some sort of light bulb that is vintage style. So I didn't know if maybe um, those we could use those or not. But let's see what's this. These are colored pencils. Some colored pencils can sell depending on the brand. Some can go for a lot of money. Look at this. So I have no idea. I did message my friend and I think he said between 40 and $60. He sent me a uh, message about what it was called. I did grab these crayons. Um, I may just donate those. This has colored pencils in it. This is just art stuff that um, if it's in good condition, even if it's in okay condition, these peacock feathers, I figured I could sell. This is it's some sort it's still in the um, wrap here so I went ahead and grabbed that heavyweight mixed paper I don't know crafter stuff I just literally was throwing stuff in the bin I probably you know won't be able to do anything with that so but this thing here I may and then nice pair of scissors all right so We've got a bunch of fountain pens. So I'll be bringing those. I think that's buttons. This I thought was pretty interesting. I don't know if she made that or put that over there so it doesn't get broken. But again, we've just got, I think I'm gonna keep these to ship in. They're little uh, containers like the, that I use. But I, I just don't even, I don't even know. Sterling silver plate, originally 50 cents. <gasps> Stickers. Oh, I do want to show you guys something else that I got that is really, really cool. 
Um, I'll show you at the end. I need to go get it. So here's more just like sewing things. And there's just some old buttons. Some of them are really cool. Uh, that's got a needle in it. I need to throw that out before I stick myself. So yeah, okay, and then we're over here. <laughs> I'm telling you, it just goes on and on and on. It's more than I can even like think about uh, trying to list. It's just not gonna happen. Ooh, look at that. It tells you like the colors. It's like a color book. That's cool. So these must all be like crystals. Huh, that's fun much about it. I did grab these because you know me, I will grab vintage panties to sell. New old stock there. That's interesting. It's kind of pretty. Let's see. A horse kind of doesn't fit in, but I'll take it. This here I grabbed. I know that these BMX things can do pretty good. I did look this up. It's probably in the 30 to $50 range. Um, I couldn't find the exact one, so I will play around with those numbers. This is one of those, uh, is it a boating ball? You, there's usually two of them, so I only have one. I don't know what these are. They look like marbles, so there's a whole thing. So it is gonna be a treasure hunt. Um, this is more like, looks like new old stock beads and embellishments. I, I did pick up this purse. This was one of the items I got outside that I thought was just adorable. Isn't that cute? It's a little strawberry purse. Um, and then I saw these. I always pick up um, blank tapes. This is some sort of wire. I'm guessing it's for crafting. Uh, these are just more molds and stuff. Um, let's see what's in this. Beads, leather magnets, uh, patches. I don't know what those are. I don't know if that was abalone or what. this faded glory but some thread and who knows what's down under here and another case full of jewelry so yeah it should be an interesting sale so again follow me down on whatnot the link's in the description all right you guys thanks for watching oh i wanted to show you that one thing all right, so I also pulled this out of there, which I have not been able to identify. So if anybody knows, there's no markings on it. Looks like it's an ornament. And I think she probably made this. So I am going to put this on eBay. It's a great Halloween item. Um, but she was definitely very, very crafty. And I'm going to show you this other thing that she made that I think is fantastic. Okay, so I think this green stuff is from where the leather was sitting on this. So my husband seems to think I can take um, some sort of cleaner and polish this up. But look at these. I believe they're belts. And I'm thinking she probably made them. And I just think they are fantastic. Um, here's another one. This is all like little... This one. Aren't they cool? I mean, they're kind of a mess. It's going to take some cleaning. But look at that. So, yeah. Big old, uh, I forget what this is, what kind of stone that is. But yeah, look at that. Isn't that neat? So, I got to figure out what I'm going to do with these. If I want to take the time to clean them, if I'm going to sell them as is, or... If I'm going to put them on whatnot, if I'm going to put them on eBay, if you guys have any feedback, let me know down in the comments. I thought I was done. I forgot I had this tote also, which it's just more crafting items. 
These are really cute. I don't know. They're just like a handmade deal, but... So, yeah. All right. That's it. That's everything. All right, Bella Buddies. Thanks for watching. Let me know what you think down in the comments. Can you believe it? Oh my goodness, I spent hours and hours upon hours at this sale. It was super, super fun. Um, it's always exciting when an unexpected haul comes your way. But the funny thing is, I was actually, I went to a couple sales and as I was pulling out, I was leaving to turn to go to another sale. I saw a sign and I'm like, I don't think I went to the other sale. So I turned around and went back and that was the sale. Can you believe it? so excited so excited to bring you guys these items on whatnot i just do not have time to list all of these items individually and i know so many people craft and i just am gonna have some great deals for you guys so be sure to go down to the description and follow me on whatnot if you use that link to join you get 15 dollars to shop if um, you've already joined you can still use that link to go follow me now I'm gonna be starting the whatnot shows soon. I have, I think four or five, maybe six totes full of stuff. So it is gonna be multiple shows. So um, make sure that you're following me. And also if you subscribe to my link tree, um, you'll get an email notification. I'll push that out to you guys. So for those of you that want to know when I'm going on whatnot, you can uh, subscribe to my link tree. It'll be down in the below too. That's something that's kind of new. And let's see what else. After the crafter stuff, I'm going to move into something else, possibly my jewelry, possibly some of the toys. I have a huge money pile. If you watch my channel, you have seen it. I'm going to be bringing a lot of that to whatnot because I need to move some of this stuff because it's not doing any good sitting in my money mountain. Thanks so much for being here. Be sure to subscribe if you're new here and thanks for watching.